Hey Jeanette, this is Daniel from Josh and Annie SEO. So uh, we're going to take a look at your website, see what's going on, and see if there's anything we can help with. So right off the bat, you have a lot going on. Um, painting, standing, pressure washing, a lot of those are just all under the same idea of painting, um, which is still fine. I mean, nothing wrong with that. It just can help, you know, declutter a little bit of how much is available to somebody when they look at your website for the first time. You don't want to overwhelm somebody with too much information. You want to make sure it's like um, moderate. So I do like how you have a click to call and you have get a free estimate. Excellent. You definitely want that like logo in the top left corner. Definitely doing a great, a great job with that. And then you have painting, standing, pressure washing, carpentry, which is exactly what you want. You want links to other pages. Now, here's the thing. Painting can be broken down into even more spots as so as well. Uh, staining can. Uh, pressure washing, not really. Um, carpentry, I don't even know what that means. It can be a plethora of different things. You might want to get a little more uh, specific on that so you can kind of bring in the, the clientele you're looking. Uh, four. Um, painting contract A plus with the better. With the BBB, that's great. Quality painter serving Austin. Other improvement services we provide in Austin. Excellent. Oh, okay. That might be it. But see, if you have to kind of bring more of an idea to a, a sub spot over here, then it, it might be better just to add its own spot for it. And then who your awards and accolades are with. That's great. You definitely like that. Uh, not like that. You want that on your pay. Trust in Austin. Painting contractors. Now we're done. Okay, so the one thing we don't really do is talk about what it is you're offering, right? You you always want to talk about the services you offer because then people can read it and then quickly just click the call button because they're there for – most people have their mind made up, I guess, when they when they click on that. I mean, yeah, they're browsing, um, but I'll get into more of the, the kind of client we're looking for, right? So right over here, I'm going to check the back end of your website for what's going on, kind of kind of you know get in depth of what Google sees when they look at your website. So a, a UR rating, by the way, is you know how much Google likes your website, how strong it is. And it's a 20, so not bad. Um, and you have a DR rating of 0.2. Now, not great. That, that shows how much Google trusts you. Now, all of that is contingent on your backlinks. Now, backlink is where you have your website link, pricepoppainting.com, somewhere else where somebody can click on it. And a referring domain is when it returns back to your website. Now, um, you obviously, I'm going to go with, you know, some backlinks, again, aren't very great. Some are more spammy than others. You want to be careful of those. I'm going to assume that's what, you know, some of these might be because your DR rating is 0.2. Now, you do have 154 organic keywords, which is what you want, right? You, I mean, you want to rank for the right ones, but a keyword is what somebody might put in Google to find you. For example, you have 143 that you're ranking for. We're going to take a look at what they are. So, Bright Spot Painting is your name. That's fine. You can be ranking for it. But every traffic you're getting through this kind of uh, keyword is mostly probably going to be referrals or returning customers. Now, what you're looking for is more organic because you have these people in the bag because they know you and they trust you. Yet now you're trying to get the organic traffic. Now, you have the right idea over here. Austin Carpentry. Carpentry Austin. So you're doing excellent with that. But again, Carpentry is so broad. You definitely want to niche down on what it is you're actually offering but let's take a look at austin painters 150 people a month search for it. you're getting two of them because you're on page number two if you're on page number one typically uh, uh spots number one two and three you'll get about 10 to 20 percent of all the people searching so something to keep in mind painters austin uh you know 500 a month you're getting one because you know you're in position number 21 so you have the right idea you want them to be location specific and service specific. So good job for that. But let's take a look at what's going on when I do put it in myself, right? Painters Austin Texas. Let's find out who's number one for that. So you got your uh, Google guarantee. That's cool. By the way, location and service specific is how you create Google ads. But then we have, you know, your GMB, GMB ideas. So Google My Business Profile. Here are the top three people. Now, you definitely want to be in the top three because um, 30, 40% of all people will click on one of these guys over here. So, who's this? No, I did. Is that you guys? No, you're Bright Spot. Although, when you look at your tab name, it comes up a little different. But anyway, we got Yelp is number one for the organic search. Anyone can rank here as long as you know what you're doing. And we got textpainting.com is number one. So, just looking at their website, you know, we got their nice little logo on the left, residential painting, and they kind of break it down a little bit, not as much, but yes, they have secondary drop down menus, so they definitely break it down more commercial painting about us contact us schedule now so uh and they have their phone number up here which i would probably put where the schedule now is but that's fine top rated austin texas painters offering on-site remote estimates they got residential and commercial painting so they're talking a little bit but i mean again you want to talk about what it is you're offering we quality starts and service never ends um just a little bit about how they go about you know everything interior share work exterior painting 
Um, so more of a gallery idea, schedule a free estimate, nothing wrong with that. And then I'm gonna assume these are testimonials and videos. <clears throat> Overall, solid website. Nothing wrong with having these, but these are links to new pages, which is fine. They might have um, many locations, but let's just take a look at the back end and see what we got over here. So they have a DR rating and a UR rating of 29 and 35. So they're doing really well with this. You definitely want the ratio to be in the 30s and 40s uh, with a ratio of one to one. They do have 1,720 backlinks with 240 referring domains. So those referring domains are probably really good. Um, and then finally, they have 1,100 keywords with 1,200 traffic. Now, that's not great. My opinion is, is if you have, you know, one keyword, you should have about two and a half people come to your website for that. So Pennybacker Bridge, you'll notice that these are blogs, right? The only small job painter near me, 360 Bridge, they're getting a lot of traffic, but not for the right stuff. Uh, except for this one, right? House Painter Austin, Austin House Painting, Austin uh, House Painter. That's 700, 900, 1,050 right there, and they're getting over 10% of that. So, I mean, what is that? You know, 100 to 134 people, whatever that is. So they're doing an excellent job getting the traffic here for the right stuff. But then some of this stuff is, is uh, you know, they're getting a lot of traffic for that like this. They're getting 127 people, but it's it's um, not what you want. It's it's a blog part, um, a must visit sort of idea. So you definitely don't want to rank for some of that. I mean, inevitably, inevitably you will get, you know, random stuff you're going to rank for, but you always want to focus on the location and service specific stuff. And they're bringing in the traffic because they're in, they're on page one. And if you can't be anywhere, just try and be page one. If you can be, you know, get page two, uh, get page um, one, you know, positions one, two, or three is the goal. So how does this really help you out? You got some of the good keywords. You know, that's not bad. We can't overlook that. Um, I would definitely try and see if you want it, you know, if they're the right keywords you're looking at. And then finally, on top of that, um, you might want to add in talking about more about what it is you offer. And then finally, you need more backlinks and referring domains you know, that'll really push you more to the front than anything else. So how do we do that? You go over to, you know, text paint, uh, uh, you know, these guys over here, Austin, uh, painters, Austin, what are they called? Textpainting.com. Uh, you find out the really good ones they have. They have 240 referring domains uh, that are really good. Take those and then add 50 on top of that. You got no issues going on. Um, that's all I got, Jeanette. I really hope you have an amazing vacation. Enjoy your 10 days in Mexico. Don't work too hard. Um, or find the laziest way you can possibly do things because, you know, that's typically the way, uh, you know, vacation works. Uh, good luck. And if you have any questions, let me know.